Good afternoon, Mark and kids. Uh, my name is Mike Jones. Um, I don't know Mark super well, but I do follow him on Facebook and things like that. And I think his insights and his leadership in the swimming community is invaluable for the Pittsburgh area and the East Coast slash Midwest. Uh, I live in Cincinnati, Ohio, so quite far away from where Mark is, but um, I do think his stuff is great. So I saw his post about the five minute video short story about swimming or water polo and I just want to give you some insight on what swimming and water polo have done for me. Uh, I began swimming uh, right around your age, actually probably even earlier, obviously with the little kids swim lessons that you all probably have participated in in some capacity. And then I've always been on a swim team my entire life up until the end of high school. Um, I also started playing water polo in eighth grade here in Cincinnati. I, was, I moved from Philadelphia actually, so I, I was born and raised in the, uh, the Eastern Pennsylvania area. And um, so I've been playing water polo now though from eighth grade all the way until now. I still play, I play for a local masters team called the Ohio Squirrels. And while I don't have a short story or a fun, exciting tale to tell you, I just wanna give you some insight on how important water polo and swimming have become to me. Um, and it's helped me become who I am today. So one of the important things about all athletics is uh, being extremely organized. You have to be focused and organized on what you're doing. Otherwise, you may not be able to learn the swimming or you may not be able to do very well. So um, when, when I was in playing water polo and when I'm swimming growing up, I had to be at practice on time. I had to listen to my coaches because they were the ones that were leading me and telling me what to do. They were the experts. I had to uh, look at my times in swimming and say, all right, how can I get a little bit faster? And I had to just be organized. So what that's done for me today is that every day I have a plan for my expectations on what my productivity needs to be doing. So I have a to-do list. And um, that swimming mentality and discipline that's built me to be organized every single day and to be focused uh, has helped me become the person I am. The other thing is, while swimming isn't much of a team sport, because you're on a relay every now and then, but most of the time you're individually swimming or contributing to the team, it still can be called a team sport. Uh, water polo is very much like a team sport and that's helped me work really well with people in my company, with my family, even with the water polo team I play with today. And I think that's very valuable and how to uh, relate with other people, work with other people, team up on projects together, even sharing and playing with your toys. Uh, that has really helped me. Uh, who I am today. The final thing I want to mention is uh, swimming and water polo has helped me become a leader. And even though I was not the fastest on my team in swimming in high school and middle school, I was pretty good though, but certainly not the fastest, um, I still became a leader on the team um, by doing what is right. So for example, showing up to practice on time, uh, making sure you're setting an example to all the swimmers, whether they're older than you or younger than you, you are just you know, doing the right thing, you're mature, uh, taking a younger or a less experienced person under your wing and showing them things that they might not know. Um, they've always done that for me, so I felt it, it was important that I do that for our younger swimmers and even on the team I play with today. If we have somebody that just joined the team, who's never really played water polo, or maybe isn't a strong swimmer, we will pull them aside, we'll help them uh, because that's only gonna help our team long-term and let's be realistic, we're all in it just to make sure we all grow and develop together. Uh, the final thing I will say is that through water polo, I met my wife. We have been married for almost 10 years. It'll be 10 years next month. And uh, the funny story I actually can tell is that I've officiated high school water polo for 10 years and she was a coach of one of the teams here in Cincinnati. And um, it was funny at the end of the season, I decided to ask her on a date and it was, People were shocked, like, oh, you're dating, uh, it was Miss Blevins or Coach Blevins at the time. And people were really, it was weird people saying that, like, you're an official, how can you be doing that? It's, it's, it was all good fun. Um, so that was my, I guess that is kind of a fun story that I, that I have participated in. Um, but keep up the great work. I know we're in unique times right now and you can't really get in the water and you can only watch swimming tapes and you can only listen to your coach and listen to Mark on, on things and watch, technique drills, but eventually we'll get back in and uh, we'll be all learning this sport again and we'll be picking up where we left off. But I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video and have a great afternoon and have a great weekend. Thank you.